guys, it is me, Stace. Today we're gonna be using the Silhouette Cameo to apply heat transfer vinyl to this shirt. I'm using Caesar Easy, we just in a basic black color. I got this from Walmart. It is the brand Time and True. It's like this lavender color. I'm gonna go ahead and take this sticker off. My heat press is already preheating. So let's go to the software and we'll get started. Alrighty guys, I'm inside the studio software and this is the design I chose. It says sarcasm is my superpower. I already have my vinyl loaded on the machine, so the only thing I need to do here is right click on this and flip horizontally. I'm going to move it down. I did do a test cut. I'm going to hit send and send this to the Cameo. We will cut it out and then we'll weed it and then apply it to our shirt. So the bottom right over here, I'm going to go ahead and click on send. And I'll meet you back at the table and we will weed this out. Guys, right, so we are back. It cut out. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of the mat here. And then we are going to weed this out. I'm first going to cut away my extra. One thing I do like about the silhouette, if you want to cut vinyl, you don't need to use a cutting mat if you don't want to. I just chose to do so. I'm right, just going to take our Cricut weeding tool and we're going to weed this out. And I kind of just poke at one corner. My heat press might beep at, uh, might beep, let me know it's preheated. Okay, it's gonna see how this did. I love working with heat transfer vinyl. It looks like I cut it out really well. I thought this design was perfect for a t-shirt. Even though I'm not really the, all that sarcastic. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and weed out the parts we don't need. So we have the part of the A. The R. And I like going at it on an angle so I can see exactly where it went. I have my heat press heat preheating to 305. So if I can get this weeded before it beeps. We got them all. So what I like to oop, I didn't. Bottom of our S here. So when you think you have them all, I like flipping it over and reading it to make sure I, I got it all. And I can see this little speck right there. Okay, looks pretty good. Alright, let's go to the heat press and we'll apply that to my shirt. Alright guys, we're here at the heat press. The first thing I'm gonna do is lay my shirt on it just to get out the moisture. Like I said, my heat press is at 305. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and take our design. Before I do that, I'm gonna grab my t-shirt guide here. I'll make sure I'm past all the creases and then I'm relatively straight. I'm going to take my t-shirt guide. I got this from cutandcornersvinyl.com. This helps me make sure my design is straight. I'm just lining up the top 
of my design, the lettering, with the bottom of this. Okay, so it looks like that. Hopefully you can see that. I'm right, gonna put this where I want it. Make sure my shirt is straight before I do that. Nothing worse than applying vinyl and then you find out it'd be crooked, right? Okay, put this down. I'm gonna hold this down and just move this out of my way. All right, take our Teflon sheet and we're gonna press it for about 10 seconds, 10 to 12 seconds. And this heat press is a Trans Pro um, semi-automatic, so when I have it all the way down, I don't have it all the way down, and when I have it all the way down, that there's a magnet that pops the lid up for me. All right, that was 10 seconds. Let's see how that did. I'm just gonna get to peel it to see how it did. And it looks pretty good. I take that away. Now what I like to do when that's on there, just to kind of set it, I'm going to put this on there in just maybe three seconds or so. And then we'll go back to the table and I will share with you guys what the shirt looks like. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And I also think I'm straight. Right, let's go to the back to the computer or the desk. Alrighty guys, we are back with the finished shirt. I think the vinyl looks really well. From what I can tell, it looks like I'm straight. I may not be perfectly centered, but I'm okay with that. Uh, the vinyl, you can tell it's properly adhered when you can see the texture of the fabric behind the vinyl, and I can see that, so it is on there really well. I do have two of these shirts. This one here is extra large. This one is a large. I tend to have my shirts run a little bit bigger, but I'll save this shirt and we'll use the heat transfer vinyl with the Cricut project and we'll see how that looks on that color. So it's a really pretty teal color and a really pretty lavender color. But there you have it, cutting out a vinyl or heat transfer vinyl using the Silhouette Cameo. Any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.